we will not stop trying to make Fetch happen. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 trends we definitely got from Mean Girls. You know what? It's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. What? Oh no, she did not. For this list, we're looking at phrases, concept, and fashion trends that we got from this great early aughts movie. I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip flops, so I bought army pants and flip flops. Number 10, tiny handbags. Back in the early 2000s, the coolest kind of handbag you could own was one that was so tiny you could barely fit anything in it. Keep in mind, when Mean Girls was released in 2004, it wasn't even a given that everyone had cell phones. And if they did, they definitely weren't as massive as the smartphones we're used to today. This trend had already started in the 90s, but Mean Girls definitely reinvigorated it for a whole new set of young people. So what are we doing this weekend? Yeah, what are we doing? Oh, I have to go to Madison with my parents. What? We have tickets for this thing. We've got to say, we do not miss this fad. Hey, check it out. Junior Plastics. Number 9, the name initial pendant. Sure, Sex and the City may have popularized the nameplate necklace when it became such a big part of Carrie's identity, but Mean Girls gave us an updated version in the same year that Sex and the City went off the air. Regina George wears a pendant necklace featuring her first initial throughout the film. Why do you wear your hair like that? Your hair looks so sexy pushed back. Katie, will you please tell him his hair looks sexy pushed back? Of course, after seeing the Queen Bee of North Shore High School sport this look, everyone had to have it. Goodness. What does that smell? Oh, Regina gave me some perfume. You smell like a baby prostitute. Thanks. Over the years, this fashion trend has morphed and evolved, but even after all this time, lots of people still rock it. You could try Sears. Oh. Number 8, Slogan Tees. Wearing a shirt with writing on it was huge in the early aughts, and the trend went way beyond simple brand names. This is when the trend kicked off to wear tops with phrases or words that represented your mood or even personality. Katie, do you even know who sings this? Um, the Spice Girls? <laughs> I love her. She's like a Martian. In Mean Girls, Regina wears one that has the phrase a little bit dramatic emblazoned across her chest. Karen wears one that says bling bling, and Gretchen sports one that reads royal punk. After seeing it, we were inspired to get graphic tees of our own, but they probably said things like that's so fetch and on Wednesdays we wear pink. Hello? Hello, may I please speak to Taylor Waddell? She's not home yet. Who's calling? Oh, this is Susan from Planned Parenthood. I have her test results. If you could have her give me a call as soon as she can. It's urgent. Thank you. She's not going out with anyone. Number seven, preppy knits. The weird thing about hanging out with Regina was that I could hate her, and at the same time, I still wanted her to like me. Mary Jane Fort, who did the costume design for Mean Girls, intended for the fashion in the movie to be both forward-thinking and nostalgic. It's obvious when you see the plastics that they don't get ready for school like your average modern teenager, dressing to the nines every day. He's such a little skis. Give me your phone. Fort said in an interview with Nylon, quote, In the 50s, your nails were done, your hair was done, and your dresses were impeccable. How many of you have ever felt personally victimized by Regina George? That mid-century feel is also apparent in the girls' fashion, where we see them wearing pastel-colored knits throughout the film, a trend that made its way into the real world, too. I'm just being friendly. <sighs> you were supposed to call me last night. Jason, you do not come to a party at my house with Gretchen and then scam on some poor innocent girl right in front of us three days later. She's not interested. Number six, sexy holiday looks. Please welcome to the stage. Santa's helper is doing Jingle Bell Rock. In one of the most memorable scenes from the movie, Katie and the Plastics do a performance for the school's winter talent show. They choreograph a sultry routine to the Christmas classic Jingle Bell Rock that involves matching Santa costumes, which probably don't abide by any school's dress code. Gretchen, switch sides with Katie. But I'm always on your left. Well, that was when there were three of us, and now the tallest go in the middle. But the whole dance will be backwards. I'm always on your left. And right now you're getting on my last nerve. Switch! While the performance is meant to be pretty cringy, we couldn't help but be inspired by their matching holiday outfits. What a bright time, it's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time is the swell time. In fact, wearing matching costumes with your besties any time of the year could very well have been inspired by this scene. Number 5, Pleated Miniskirts. Throughout the movie, the Plastics, and eventually Katie, sport micro miniskirts to school on a regular basis that were shocked they were actually allowed to wear on campus. Why should Caesar get to stomp around like a giant while the rest of us try not to get smushed under his big feet? 
What's so great about Caesar? <laughs> Brutus is just as cute as Caesar. Okay, Brutus is just as smart as Caesar. People totally like Brutus just as much as they like Caesar. They take the schoolgirl look to the extreme with plaid prints and pleats galore. I think I'm joining the mathletes. No. No, no, no. no, no. You cannot do that. That is social suicide. Damn, you are so lucky you have us to guide you. The prints vary though, and we see the traditional tartan alongside polka dots, hearts, and geometric looks. We can distinctly remember a time in the mid-aughts where all the cool girls in school were wearing skirts just like this. Regina had put a spring fling dress on hold at a store called 135, but being plastic, she needed our advice before she could actually buy it. Number four, fetch. What is fetch, really? According to Gretchen Wieners, it's like slang from England. Oh, it's so fetch. What is fetch? Oh, it's like slang from England. And her father is the inventor of toaster strudel after all, so she must have it on good authority. She uses fetch to mean cool, although Regina isn't having any of it. So you've actually never been to a real school before? Shut up. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Home fetch is such a nonsensical sounding slang word that it actually caught on in the cultural lexicon. And among Mean Girls fans at least, it has to be one of the most used words in their vocabularies. We don't care, we're still going to try to make fetch happen. You love him, and he totally complimented you. That is so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Number three, you go, Glen Coco. Candy cane girls! Okay, hurry up. In Katie's efforts to break Gretchen Wieners, she devises a plan to send out candy cane grams to herself and Karen from Regina, leaving Gretchen with none. Regina George is an evil dictator. Now, how do you overthrow a dictator? You cut off her resources. Though this plot point is the purpose of the scene, it's overshadowed by Damien as Santa delivering four candy canes to Glen Coco and enthusiastically exclaiming, Glen Coco? Far for you, Glen Coco! You go, Glen Coco! Though Glen Coco is by no means an important character in the story, this quote has become perhaps the most oft repeated in the Mean Girls canon. Um. And none for Gretchen Wieners, bye! Number two, animal ear headbands. When Halloween rolls around, Katie learns the hard way that in this world, dressing up in your scariest outfit is not the move that cool girls pull. Why are you dressed so scary? It's Halloween. While she goes all out with her ex-wife outfit, with false teeth, wig, and all, the plastics take a decidedly different approach, sporting what Katie deems to be lingerie with animal ears. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie and some form of animal ear. In the years since the movie was released, ironically opting for basic animal ears for your Halloween costume has become something of a fad, and Mean Girls was very likely the genesis of the joke. What are you? I'm a mouse. Duh. Before we unveil our extremely quotable top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. My parents got me this pair of really expensive white gold tubes, and I had to pretend like I didn't even like them, and it was so sad. If you need anything, don't be shy, okay? There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles, and we'd all eat be happy. She doesn't even go here. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, on Wednesdays we wear pink. When Katie becomes friends with the plastics, she gets a quick introduction to girl world and all of the absurd rules that come along with it. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. You can only wear jeans on Fridays. You can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. And perhaps most importantly, on Wednesdays, they wear pink. You can't wear a tank top two days in a row, and you can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. So I guess you pick today. Oh, and we only wear jeans or track pants on Fridays. Now, if you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us at lunch. Well, I mean, not just you, like any of us. After learning this all important rule, Katie shows up in the only pink item she can get her hands on. And let's just say that she doesn't fit in with the group. But you're like really pretty. Thank you. So you agree? What? You think you're really pretty? Oh, I don't know. <gasps> Regardless, this concept has taken off among Mean Girls fans and is widely recognized by even casual viewers. Gina, you're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. So? So that's against the rules, and you can't sit with us. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.